Okay, many other programming languages have like while loops and uh, until loops. Uh, there's, there's a couple different ones, right? But in V, just like Go, there's only four. So let's uh, let's check this out. Okay, so we'll say nums. Cool. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're gonna just loop over this array. So four, I in nums. Print line, and we'll put we'll put I. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay. V dot four dot V. V four dot V. Okay. And then, bam! We got one through five, right? Okay. So let's say we wanna. Um, we want to loop over an associative array or a dictionary, which you would call in Python. So let's go ahead with that one. Okay, so let's say dict. Okay. Uh, one. And it's exactly the same like in Python. Okay, two. Two. Okay. All right, and these two are, are special special keywords, key and value. To loop over these right here in dict. So and we're gonna use string interpolation. So it's key. Come on, damn it! Can't type today. Key and then value. Okay. All right. Let's see how that goes. All right. See one, two, three down here, right? All right. Now you can also do an endless loop. Okay. So this will loop forever, and then you can put an if statement in there. So you know what? Let's put like uh, we'll say mutable n is equal to zero okay so if n is equal to five then break okay and we'll put n plus plus so that it, this this uh, operator will I mean this in many other languages it'll just increment by one so you know what we'll print out the value every time okay so print line and so you guys can see that all right there you go and you can see that it printed out uh, two five so this will break this loop on five okay